I could I could help with your day maybe. With the return of an old friend. Uh, uh, I'm a happy hippo. Uh. <laughs> HD. That's that's not thrilling. It's, thrilling is not what that is. That's that's nothing resembling. No, that's not. It is. No. No. Yeah. No. Why do you do that? You shouldn't do. That. I've had that thing for like ten years, and the batteries are still good. Oh, in the HD, you can see him wiggle now. You can see that he shakes. You could never see that before. That's exciting. I know last week people were like, oh my God, Terra's in 3D. And I'm like, I know, I'm very sorry. Now you can actually see what I look like. Sorry about that. But I have to live with it. So do you. See, people are agreeing with me. That shit was creepy. Thank you. It's awesome. No, he's awesome. I've had that thing for I don't even know how long, and the batteries haven't run out. That thing will outlive me. Like they'll bury it with me, and they'll have to exhume me because they'll hear hear noise, and the dirt above my grave will be vibrating because it'll get activated somehow. Anyway, and they'll, think, they'll think they buried me alive. We have stories this week, because of course we have stories this week, but we have, we've got a lot of overlap. Something I've noticed as the years have gone on, especially in this last year of doing this, our stories have sort of, it's this Venn diagram that slowly come together of stories regarding the really important shit and stories regarding all of the crazy crap that human beings do. And they've started to sort of, merge and that that little spot in the middle is getting to be a scarier and scarier spot because things are getting stupider and stupider well yeah the world is just hurtling towards inevitable chaos of stupidity i didn't think that would be the kind of chaos that would get us honestly stupidity i really thought it would be like greed malice i didn't think it would be the stupid that would curl us toward chaos i did not call that one I didn't call that one. All right, let's let's get that intro running. Each week, Catherine, Radio Day, our audience go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit. We're back here for a segment we like to call "What the Fuck is Wrong with You." And this week, well, let's start off with. Do you all remember Bodie McBoatface? Of course. Who could forget Bodie McBoatface? That was when uh, the British Navy, was it the Navy or Scientific Division? Anyway, they, they were... I think it was a science vessel. Yeah, they, they were creating a new science vessel, and they put the name up to the internet to vote on, and the internet decided it should be called Bodie McBoatface. And they still let us vote for the president and Brexit after that well they still gave us that choice they should our new and improved homeland security this past week uh unveiled a very novel idea except you know it was done in uh in germany in the late 30s of uh having a hotline to report on the crimes of illegal immigrants now yeah have we started publishing those in the paper yet? Because he wanted to do those too. Yeah. The reason behind this is is kind of nebulous, shall we say, because there's no point to it. A crime is a crime is a crime. And single. Yeah, but out- if we didn't let the Browns in, wouldn't be no crime. Everybody knows that. Well, this special hotline was established. And presented to the internet, which was not a very good idea on their part, 
apparently they had not heard of Bodie McBoatface because... Because the internet said, fuck you. Yeah, they did. As it so often does. Police, uh, people are calling in to a new criminal alien hotline with reports of extraterrestrials. Wednesday, the Trump administration launched the Victim of Immigration Crime Engagement Office. Now, I want to point out that uh, immigration is in itself not a crime. Right. The and also, if you want to report a crime, you should probably just call your local police. Because calling these Not people, the federal fucking government. They can't do anything. They literally no. cannot do anything. Totally out of their jurisdiction. Right. They can tell you to call the police. That's, that's all right. they can do. Um, and I think it's funny... That the party that's all about smaller government, government just small enough to fit in my vagina, is all, fuck your local law enforcement. Let the feds deal with every piece of crime. Like, really? All right. That's that's new. Uh, the, the office, housed within Immigration and Customs Board, also established a hotline for, quote, victims to receive public information. But since its introduction... The hotline received calls about space alien contact, UFO sightings, and for the Harry Potter fanatics, Muggleborns. Oh my god, really? I hadn't heard about that last part. <laughs> what did the fuck did you think was gonna happen? I mean, like... You remember that survey about whether or not the media was super dishonest? Mm -hmm. That they didn't think all of us fucking hippie liberals were going to fuck up for them? Like, y'all don't understand the internet, man. No, they, they, they just, they think it's it's all frog memes and 4chan. And it's Tara hasn't with... seen or read American Gods. Tara has read American Gods four times and has been waiting for that damn show for a year. And it was awesome, except for Mad Sweeney. But let's not have that rant right now. This, they just think the internet is a thing that helps them win elections, and that's all it's there for. Yeah. And that nobody ever lies on the internet, apparently. <laughs> Except for them. Well, I mean... But everybody else is totally on the level on the internet. Like, how many, how many people in the government honestly think they're talking to a hot 18-year-old that wants to nail them? Probably quite a few. When they're actually talking to, like... An overweight fifty-something dude. And the, the, the if you read some of the accounts of this, the people on the phone were like, "I'd like take your report." Yeah, uh, I saw this uh, pod falling from the sky, and I went and I pulled over and I opened it up, and there was this baby inside. It had this weird little S thing on him. And I'm like, Sir, "Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's a citizen." And and the people on the phone were like. Sir, are you talking about Superman? Yeah! Okay, all right. That's that's nice. Thank you very much. We'll make a report of Superman. Yeah. Just the, the demoralization of these poor bastards. See, like, if Superman landed in America now, if Superman landed in Kansas tomorrow, he'd be like, no. Nah. No. Nah. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> I just... Truth, justice, in the American way... To assist with crimes committed by criminal aliens. They had to know this. They, these fucking idiots. Also, we don't call people aliens anymore. No, we don't. That's no longer the vernacular. Because it's really fucking insulting. And I realize they don't give a fuck about that. Because Jeff Sessions just keeps on saying it. But we don't say that anymore. Because it's fucked up. And that's why this happened to you. Yep. And it's going to keep happening because we all kind of hate you and your stupid shit. Because there was no, no one was being uh, imperiled by not by by this hotline being clogged because this hotline couldn't do shit. Right. They had no jurisdiction to do shit. no jurisdiction. They could tell you to call your local police. Like basically, they were trying to collect data. Hmm. So that they could try to prove, you know. Well, now the only thing they've proved is Mulder was right. That's that's it. That's all they've proved. Congratulations. Yeah. 
Scully still ain't gonna believe you though. Yeah, no. Scully like has personally been inseminated by aliens, and she won't believe you. Now we continue into our little Venn diagram of Jesus Christ. Um, this is one I showed you about on Twitter, and you were like, "Oh hell no." The Internet of Things. These devices we keep bringing into our homes with very poor security that can do wondrous, stupid things. Yeah. That we don't really stop and think about in the long term. Well, Amazon has a new version of their Echo, or as most people just call it, the Alexa box. That's coming out that will help you do another stupid thing. It will help you pick your outfit, your wardrobe. It will, ju it will judge how you look, how you look before you go out the door and tell you, you know, change something. It actually won't do that. It'll just suggest things you can buy off of Amazon to improve your outfit. And do you, it's not, it's not Cher's closet from Clueless, like all the articles are saying. Yeah. Well, do it's you, just another way for them to sell you shit. Well, do you know how it does this? It takes fucking pictures of you while you're getting dressed. With a fucking camera while you're fucking getting dressed. No, hell no. Hell no. Mm -mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have discovered that you can't actually get people to put a camera on themselves and, and undress for you. Yeah. All you have to do is sell it to them. And they'll buy it. They'll pay money for something they could make money to do. America. <laughs> you could charge for that. And like, I guarantee you at some point, this shit's going to get hacked. Yes. That is inevitable. The, what the, what you're saying, everything gets hacked eventually. This, this is the fappening two electric boogaloo. Yeah. Waiting to happen. Like, we live in a post-privacy society. Yep. And the irony is, we hired Big Brother. Yes. Like, the government didn't impose Big Brother on us. We bought it and brought it into our home and pay money for it to do what it does. Like, yep. we have invited all of this on ourselves. Everywhere you go, in your home, you are constantly carrying a camera, a microphone, all of your data is out there. Like privacy is a thing of the past. Everything is going to get hacked eventually. And you just kind of have to accept that and have contingencies in place. Contingencies like don't buy a thing that watches you get dressed for the internet. See, at least for me, I've got cameras here in my home for what I do, but they live in their own room. They have their own, yeah. they live in their own room. And when I'm not in here, if someone were to turn on the camera, all they'd see is this little furry idiot running yeah, around. Yeah, they like might see Dottie and Peggy wandering around in here. But honestly, most of the time, Dottie and Peggy are in whatever room I'm in, except for right now, they're out sleeping in the living room. But they're not going to see anything interesting. The only furry little dick you're going to see is this thing. Yeah. They'll see my Star Wars hippos and my... Irish Mr. Met. But this, who did, this, this is one of those things that lawsuits will spring from when this. But the happened. thing is, like, it's getting harder and harder to say, well, you're get, you'll get sued when I paid you for it to do exactly that. Because I guarantee you in the terms and conditions, it says they're not responsible for what happens if they get fucking hacked. Because terms and conditions are fucking draconian now. Yeah. So, and everybody's accepted that at some point they're going to get hacked. So the terms and conditions are going to start to say, you have to accept that this information might get hacked and go out to the public. Good luck. And that's why you don't, like, if you're that concerned... Macy's will will give you a personal shopper for the day, dude. Yeah, and the personal shopper can't upload their brain to the internet and see. No, you can, can. ask a friend. Yes, I have actually played stylist for a few of my friends. Like they have basically said, like, come out shopping with me for today and tell me what to buy. And I've happily done that. And I didn't 
tell everybody I know what their ass looks like afterward. I didn't snap pictures under the fitting room door and sell them. Oh, man. Well, we have, and this this next story is kind of surprising to me, especially considering how many places in America weed is legal. I would expect a lot of this shit would be dying off by now, but it's not <laughs> dying off. I made a pun, especially when you see the story. Um, But it's not. Because see, this is one of those weird, I don't even understand how the black market still endures when the shit's legal. Well, it's not legal everywhere. But it's legal in enough places that, you know, you could just, you, you could get busted for illegal weed. or you could... And now the feds are trying to figure out if they can crack down on it and punish the states that have <laughs> made it. Because <laughs> small government. Yeah, that's going to work out well. But there are still smuggling and they still have very interesting ways of doing it. Border Patrol finds 67 pounds of pot hidden inside casket. Oh. Was there a body? No. No, no. Okay. Phoenix, rather than the dead inside a hearse, Border Patrol agents found marijuana inside a closed casket over the weekend. Wilcox Border Patrol agent stopped a hearse near Tombstone and found 67 pounds of marijuana inside a casket. The marijuana had been covered with manure to mask the smell. All right. I think the first tip off here is a dead body should not smell like rotting shit. Not one in a coffin anyway, because it should have been embalmed. Right. So maybe you soak some cloths in formaldehyde. Yeah. Because that's what an embalmed body would smell like. Yeah, because if I don't you... know if that would damage the pot, though, because a formaldehyde's a carcinogen. Well, if you smell a body that smells like shit, if you smell shit coming out of a casket, you're going to be suspicious and possibly concerned that that body... Is it even... Something. Can you drive a body across the border? Well, yeah, it happens quite often. Americans die in, you know. I know, but without the proper, like I imagine you have to have paperwork for that. You can't just, because you, we had trouble moving my mother's body from Westchester County to Suffolk County in New York. Because we had to transport her across three county lines. And that was a problem. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just pick up a dead body and take it anywhere you fucking want. I think, Tara, I think we've seen on the show that people do not, have not gotten that message. But if you're going to drug me all, like, <laughs> like, that's, they're going to stop you if you're transporting a body. That's a guaranteed way you're going to get stopped. Maybe don't pick that way. Well, you know what? Also, what this is saying to me is this is, this is just a more of an argument to buy from the legalized places because they won't cover your marijuana in feces. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is sort of find like finding out Budweiser is is like storing your beer under a giant vats of horse urine. They do keep horses at the brewery. They do. I've been to that brewery. That part of town that oh my god, that part of St. Louis smells horrible. <laughs> That whole end of St. Louis, I was there with Dan, because that's where he's from. And we got out of the car, and I went, oh, my God, what is that? And he's like, that's the brewery. Yeah, fermentation. Anheuser-Busch is right there. And I'm like, it smells like that all the time? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, and people live here on purpose? Just... He's like, actually, rents near the brewery or higher. And I'm like, what is wrong with you people? Oh, so bad. It's just, it. I don't even understand why... why they're still trying to smuggle marijuana into into this country it would seem like you know well i think in the area like in colorado yeah. most of the most of the dispensaries grow their own yeah so it's not like you're importing it legally really but but why are you trying to smuggle in the shitty stuff we can go buy the good stuff if you're in colorado like, I'm in fucking Jersey. I'm pretty sure it's not legal anywhere up here. I don't know for sure. But I know Chris Christie's nuts about that shit. It's legal in D.C. 
All right. But that's still like a four hour drive. Well, it's a four hour drive or smoke shit covered weed. Yeah. Your call, you know. In a hearse, no less. Come on. Like, that's a guarantee. They're going to stop you. That's not, that's not. That's a red blend- flag. That's not, yeah, that's not blending in. That's not smart. Oh, boy. Oh. I feel so bad, and yet the puns are are, are about to come. And yet I feel- I have no fucking idea what is happening. I have none. This is from Waynesboro. Roanoke, so it's it's Virginia. Um I I what is going on in Virginia? Rash of shaved cats found in Waynesboro. No. In a bizarre case that so far has police and residents stumped. At least seven cats in Waynesboro's Tree Streets neighborhood have been shaved without their owner's permission. None of the pet owners have seen the person or people shaving the cats, and no witnesses have come forward yet. Captain Kelly Walker said the cats owned by two separate Tree Street residents have been shaved in the underbelly, groin, and leg areas. He said it appears the shaving was done with a razor of some kind. The cats were not otherwise harmed. Walker said at least two residents of the neighborhood have reported the shaving. Collectively, this involves seven cats that are indoor and outdoor cats. He said the cats were clearly pets and not strays or feral cats. The cats were in collars and are well-groomed. What? That's horrible. Why? Is, why? Would, man, when someone told you you could make good money shaving your pussy on the internet, this is not what the fucker meant. Are they drugging these cats? Like, how are they doing this without dying? I don't know. I don't know, but... But... Because I'm here to tell you, if I pick up my girls for longer than, like, 30 seconds, Dottie starts rabbit kicking. Why? Why are they shaving the cats? Yeah, don't... That's... What the fuck? That's not a nice thing to do. Where? I don't see a profit incentive here. I, I don't, this can't, God help us if this is a fetish. I, I don't, this isn't even a particularly vicious thing to do. It's not nice. I'm just trying to figure out the motives here. And I don't get it. Like some cats do, my, sis, my sister's cat was abused and shaved by his previous owners. And he's still really skittish around people. Some cats do get traumatized by that. Why would... Why would there is someone in Virginia right now with a whole lot of cat hair? It's it's like it's like, you know, if you ever see any of those uh, procedural crime procedural films or TV shows where you see like the the serial killer has this elaborate setup and all all the fucking tools and implements. Well, there's a dude who has that only instead of for killing people. He is surreptitiously shaving cats. It's Silence of the Lambs, except he's making a fur coat very very slowly it's just it it's just what the fuck man and you know what's going to happen they catch your ass you're going to jail you're the pussy shaver everybody's going to know you as the pussy shaver and that's not going to go well for you i guess would that be a charge of animal cruelty yeah yeah, I guess so. It's not your cat. Like, like, some cats aren't going to give a fuck. Some cats are going to be really upset by it. Some cats, it will traumatize. It's not Especially if they're captured by a stranger. Like. Why, why are you just, why? My God, you put all this effort, all of this time into avoiding being caught and detection. All of this stuff you're doing. To shave cats. What the hell, man? We're kitties. What the hell? 
And you have to be careful because like my, you know, if, if you have a female cat that's spayed, they have a little scar there. Mm -hmm. You don't want to nick that. <clears throat> well, it's I, I don't like this person. I don't I can't even think of any good puns because I'm very upset. Let's move it over to Ohio. And, you know, we all know those people who just do not get how things work. Most of them tend to be uh, retail customers. Yeah, yeah, they do. That the, the, the whole premise of what's going on eludes them. Mm -hmm. They have their own idea of how things should work and try to impose it on reality in defiance of all common sense and evidence to the contrary. Yes. This this is a perfect example of that. Ohio. Ohio man arrested after calling 911 to request police dog for stolen heroin. Okay. I mean, he's going to find it. Bath oh, it gets better, too. It gets even better. Bath Township, Ohio. Uh, a man was arrested after calling 911, requesting a police dog, and reporting that heroin was stolen from him. The call, made in January, released to uh, Cleveland-based WEWS News this week, uh, was one of the strangest calls that Police Chief Mike McNeely heard in 41 years of law enforcement. According to police, 20-year-old Joseph Murphy dialed 911 and said he needed a police dog. You need a police dog, the operator asked. What's going on here? Murphy replied, she stole heroin from me. Police body cameras show officers questioning Murphy. On the video, Murphy can be heard explaining that a woman stole money from him. But gets better. A short time later, officers were surprised when Murphy pulled a, quote, brown waxy substance from his pants. So you see, in fact, she had not stolen his heroin. Your heroin was in your pocket. And he forgot. Yes. And then he called 911 and requested a police dog to come and find the heroin that he had that someone had stolen from him ostensibly so he could get it back. If they're going to find it, they're not going to give it back. Did he miss that day in 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 school or whatever when they're turning over lockers and shit and they go, "Is this yours?" You always say no. Always no. That's not mine. I've never seen that before. Whose is it? How did it get in my locker? Who am I? <laughs> and I was just holding it for a friend anyway. I was just holding it for a guy. I don't even know them. They're not. They're not even my friend. They're someone else's friend. You don't come out and say, "I would like my heroin." That lady has my heroin. Can you go it's and mine. get that? Like, get the heroin from that lady and give it back to me because Thank it's you. mine. Yes, that's <clears throat> it's not a smart thing to do. That's not how any of this works. No, the police are not your illicit drug, lost and found. You've completely lost the plot here. Like, when it comes to tracking down your illicit drugs, they are not your friends. No! <clears throat> I mean, this is... I just, it, it... Didn't we have a guy that called the cops because he lost, a, like, a suitcase full of drugs? Yes. But and he, he didn't tell them... Finding was... his suitcase full of drugs? But he didn't tell them there were drugs in it. Oh, that's right. This guy just straight up said... Yeah, I'd like my heroin back, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't get to do that. I would like to file a report for my missing heroin. Where's the box I check on the paper that says I am missing heroin? Because I <laughs> am missing heroin, sir. Yes. A large amount of heroin, as in the drug, not a super heroin, <laughs> as in a comic not like, book. Not like Shira. No, 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 no. I am no. missing 
the drug. I miss yes. a quantity of the and drug. And I would like it back because it's mine. Correct. That is my drug. <laughs> Why are you pulling out those handcuffs? Are you going to arrest the person who took my drugs? Oh, good. We're going to arrest them, too. <laughs> also, yes, we are. Uh, our last one. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Who's got the tally? Uh-oh. We've got yet another one for guns are not a remote control for life. I got two clips. Impatient mom pulls out gun, threatens barber cutting son's hair. Because that's what you want when your barber is cutting your small child's hair. You want them nervous and jumpy. Be police in Cleveland. Like, why don't you just say, give my kid the Van Gogh? That's a good one. That's a, It's going to take people a second on that one. That's a slow burn. That's a slow burn. Um, the last <clears throat> Cleveland, Ohio. Police are looking for a woman who pointed a gun at a barber all because her son's haircut was taking too long. Security video uh, captures her pulling out a gun. The Allstate Barber College on Lorraine Avenue in Cleveland on April 14th. Police okay, say... Was the school? <clears throat> yep. That shit's going to take longer. Police say she threatens the barbers for taking too long to cut her son's hair. She pointed the gun at the victim, allegedly said, quote, I got two clips. I'll pop you. The victim finished the cut, and the suspect left with her two children. So the thing is, if you kill the barber, your kid's haircut's not getting done faster. No. Probably not at all. And you you are going to jail. Yes. They 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 are they have your picture. It's all over Ohio right now. Because Just like, kids hate getting their hair cut. Hmm. Like, kids are terrible about getting their hair cut. They're scared. They're jumpy. Like, it's bad enough with the kid wiggling around in the chair. You don't want that barber to be nervous. That's how parts of your child get lopped off. I just, it, I just, it, I just, I just, why? Why would you? And I mean, talk about fucking overreacting. Ex yes. Man, I go out and deal with other human beings every damn day. And it is a very frustrating experience. I do not like it on multiple occasions for many reasons. But you know what? That's just the curse of existing on a planet full of talking goddamn monkeys. And somehow most of us get through that without pulling a gun on anybody. Yeah, it's not something you see every day for a reason. Yeah. We aren't just waving. Not everybody's running gun, waving guns around. It's not. It's just it. I mean, outside of Texas. <laughs> that's a national pastime. In Texas, that's just a yeah. greeting. I just it. Why? In what equation was adding a gun to this situation resulting in a better outcome? Uh, it's like slow haircut. Normally, that should be equals no tip. Right. Right. In this case... Slow haircut plus gun equals jail. And not again, for like, the barber. Again, that's not going to solve your problem. No, no, right. Your, your problem is not getting solved. In fact, you've added like If another. you shoot the barber, that haircut's not happening faster. What you're going to wind up is going to jail and your kid having a half-finished haircut. <laughs> and nobody's situation is improved. <laughs> Because your kid looks jacked up, his mother's in jail, and the barber is injured or dead. I just, Who wins? I just, it, how did, I don't, 
I, there are few or any instances where adding gun to any situation improves the situation. Yeah, really nothing's coming to mind. Even t-shirt guns, even though. What t-shirt guns are great? No, they're stupid. They shoot t-shirts at you. They're stupid. They're great. They're awful. T-shirt guns are great. No. No. Just don't. Just. What do you have against t-shirt guns? No. Do you, do, have you never gotten the t-shirt from the gun? Do they always shoot it right over your head? No, well, it's just, it's a gun that shoots t-shirts. Exactly. I just, uh... What about water guns? Nope. Water guns are awful, too. Water guns are great until you're a grown ass person that walks into a room full of 10 year old boys that all have water guns and you don't see. <laughs> and I've been that person. I've also been that person with Nerf guns. And it's they're they're less fun then. I, th I think the first thing we learned this week is adding a gun to just about any situation does not improve. The situation. No. Unless you're Keanu Reeves and somebody has killed your dog. But does he really... Then by all means, shoot everybody. Does he really need the guns? For speed, yeah. He has a lot of Russians to kill. Hey, if you go back... Like, and, a lot. If you go back and watch John Wick, he kills just about as many people without the bullets as he does with. True. He don't need a gun. He is a fucking weapon. We have learned the police are not in the business of assisting you with your illegal activities. No. Unless you are an elected official. Yeah. So if you- Did you hear? They found the guy who started the red pill. Yeah. And he's a fucking Republican politician because of course. In like what, New Hampshire? Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm not resigning. Yeah, well, at first he like denied that shit, and then he's like, yeah. "No, wait, I can, I'll campaign on it." Yeah, it's totally. You know what? Me. No, yeah, I really do fucking hate women. Come at me. But yeah, unless if you want help, if you want the police to help you with your heroin, run for office. That's right. that's what you need to do. We've leave people, other people's cats alone. Please. Just, what the hell are you? Why your life is that empty that you're out there? You are the cat shaver. That's that's what you've opted to do with your short, tiny little span in this stupid meat suit on this flying mud ball. You have opted to spend your precious fleeting moments shaving cats. With four kitties. The fuck, man? Leave the cats alone. We have learned that if you... Don't if if you go for weed that we're in places where it's not not legal, you could quite literally end up with some very shitty weed. Yeah, we've learned that self fertilizing. <laughs> we've learned that we don't need Big Brother. We'll pay companies to be our Big Brother. We will welcome Big Brother in with open arms and our credit card number. And finally, when you put something obviously idiotic in front of the internet and ask them to participate. Oh, they will. They will. With they much will gusto and fervor, just probably not in the way you wanted them to. I don't know if you've read or watched The Handmaid's Tale, but there's a concept in The Handmaid's Tale called participation which is a participatory execution. So when you invite the internet to do your thing, yeah. you're going to get a participation. Yeah. Because they're going to murder your thing. Yeah, they, that's what they do. That's, this, this is, yeah, don't, don't, don't. This, I know I have a little hair sticking out of my head. I've been fighting with it for the whole bit, and it won't stay down. Ah. <sighs> 
What have we done? There's there's a man shaving cats. There's 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 a there's a super villain shaving cats. <laughs>